Can you see my screen? Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. I am Marzia Mozaffari, a PhD scholar at Busan University of Foreign Studies. Today, I am going to talk about uh, a political Sufi. Uh, I have divided my presentation into chapter. In chapter one, I uh, talk about Sufi lifestyle. And in chapter two, I explain uh, Ibn Qasi's political um, uh, lifestyle. Uh, now I want to turn uh, to uh, introduction, uh, definition of Sufism. Uh, there is uh, still no comprehensive definition for Sufism that covers all types of Sufis lifestyle. Therefore, we can say Sufis is not a specific school of thoughts, but a, a, a eclectic method that has uh, emerged from the combinations of various uh, idea and opinion. In other words, uh, throughout a uh, century with the development of thoughts, and in different condition, Sufis has changed and uh, took different form. <clears throat> Sufis has been appeared since the seventh uh, century. At the beginning, uh, Sufis was uh, uh, focused on uh, austerity, uh, uh, collusion, and self-transformation. Sufis is purification method of internal behavior and self-control. Its subject is the negation of self-centeredness uh, and self-annihilation and joining the creator. Sufi uh, in uh, general observe the teaching of Sufis and worship in a, a sol uh, solitude place. Sufi of the uh, ascetic period was uh, uh, denouncing contact with kings and rulers and uh, express, uh, uh, citate, uh, forbid, uh, for, um, forbid um, association with rulers. Uh, when Islamic uh, mystical ideas and the lifestyle of the Sufis reach Andalusia, the Sufis uh, criticized the unjust behavior of rulers and they were wary of uh, associating with rulers at that time due to uh, the influence of uh, Maliki uh, jurists on the uh, rulers. Um, the Al Murawid government had no relation with Sufis, so they were against Sufis. One of the famous Sufis of Andalusia was Ibn Masarwa. He was a Muslim uh, ascetic and a scholar. Ibn Masarwa is considered one of the first Sufis of Andalusia after returning from Iran, Egypt, and the Eastern Islamic lands. Uh, he taught his students and in his uh, secluded place in Cordoba and became famous. The judge of the city of Cordoba uh, ac uh, accused him to, uh, of uh, inf uh, infidelity and uh, atheism and uh, um, pursued his follower and burned their books. After the fall of the Umayyad rule in Andalusia and the uh, dominations of the Al Moravid government over Andalusia and the uh, Morocco, uh, based on fatwa of Maliki jurists, the Al Moravid governor collected all the books of uh, Ihya Ulum ad Din and Ghazalis from all over. Uh, uh, Andalusia and Morocco and Berndi. Islamic scholar and uh, jurist of uh, Almeria strongly opposed the uh, uh, burning 
uh, on the of uh, one of the uh, uh, opponents of the Al Muravid dynasty was Ibn Ari. The rulers of Al Muravid were apparently afraid of the political consequences of thoughts of Ibn Arif and they exiled him to Morocco and finally killed him. According to Ibn Arif, teaching depending only on God is one of the rank of Sufis and divine gift and has a fundamental role in the evolution of man. Thus, the Sufis of Andalusia not only had uh, not uh, hadn't uh, associated um, with the uh, political rulers of Umayyad and al murawid but also took actions against, against them. Unlike the 7th century Sufis who were worldly isolated uh, isolated and opposed to establishing relations with political rulers. Some Sufis believe that uh, Sufis should be associated with uh, rulers in order to establish justice, uh, prevent uh, oppression, and promote Sufis. Sometimes the rulers were associated with the Sufis because of their religious uh, um, leaning or legitimacy of their rule. Some Sufis even went so far as to uh, seek power and establish an Islamic state. This group defined different and new style of Sufis and they were associated, uh, associated to rulers for a variety of reasons. Some Sufis were in contact with the uh, rulers and advisor, for example, political rulers used the advice of Sufis because of their religious uh, interest and uh, inclination. Uh, sometimes the rulers became followers of Sufis and used their advice. The Sufis also believed that one of their duties was to guide the people and they work in these directions and ask the rulers to rule justly and not to oppress the people. Sometimes uh, Sufis were officially advisor to rulers and play important role in reform and guidance in various matters. In the war between Mirza Babur and Sultan Abu Said Mirza in 1469, CE, Mirza Babur asked Sheikh Oweidullah uh, Ahrar to be peace agent. Uh, eventually, uh, thanks to Haji Ahrar, its war came into peace and reconciliation. Some Sufis also sided with Sultan in war and jihad and even personal, uh, personally participated in the war uh, and jihad. For example, uh, uh, Burhanuddin Khalilullah, the only son of Shah Ni'matullah Wali, at the request of Sultan Ahmad Shah Al-Wali Bahmani, participated in jihad against Indians. When the enemy uh, saw Sheikh Khalilullah in Sultan Ahmad army, they fled and the army of Sultan Ahmad Shah Al-Wali Bahmani won the war. Sometimes Sufi were so famous in science that political rulers commissioned them to answer questions in question and answer session. If Sab'ain was one of the greatest Andalusian uh, Sufis of the 7th century uh, of, uh, uh, in Andalusia, uh, uh, he combined, uh, combined uh, mysticism and philosophy. Uh, his uh, fame of philosophy led one of his Al-Muhad uh, Caliph, uh, Caliph uh, to commission him to answer the questions of empire, uh, Emperor uh, Frederick II of Sicily. Uh, some Sufis also uh, use their spiritual influence and at attempt to gain power 
uh, uh, and rule. For in instance, if I see a Christian origin in the most controversial Sufis of the 12th century in Andalusia, uh, who was a student of a famous Sufi and a scholar in Al Arif. Uh, after uh, his master was killed by Al Muravid, he returned to Silk and secretly invited the people of uh, that area to revolt against the Al Muravid government. His uprising is uh, significant because of uh, the uh, combinations of politics with uh, Sufis, with the help of his followers, uh, who were known as the Muridun uh, dis uh, disciples, con uh, uh, concurred Mirtullah. Ibn Asi called himself Imam, however, due to power struggle between his friends, which led to his removal from power, he uh, was forced to seek a refuge with the rulers of the Al Muhad, uh, Abd Mu'min, to uh, regain power. With his support, he regained control of Silk and Mir uh, Tola. Uh, but uh, later on, since he was a monopolist who uh, craved power, he refused to obey the caliph of the al muhad and uh, turned to the Christian king of Portugal, uh, Afonso, uh, Afonso uh, Henricus, to uh, support and to help him. Uh, the king of Portugal uh, accepted his request and uh, uh, sent some of his troops to help Ibn Qasi. Ibn al Qasi um, uh, alliance with the Christian king was a uh, uh, kind of action against Muslim community of Silk that caused provoked uh, the anger of the people of Sibs and they revolted against him, uh, al Asi and killed him. Uh, because uh, his uh, type and practice was very different from that of Sufis, he uh, has many often men. They have described him as a man who pretend to uh, ascetic and uh, they told, uh, they said he was a, a trick, uh, trickster and he wanted to uh, rule and uh, from an Islamic government. However, Ibn Arabi, one of the great uh, Sufi of uh, Andalusia, introduced him as a, one of the great Sufis. For conclusion, the Actual Sufi method of life had always been to leave the world, build oneself up and free from world, uh, uh, worldliness. Uh, however, some Sufis uh, collaborated with the court, uh, while others uh, desired power and control over society, which was in stark con uh, contrast uh, to the Sufi way of life. Ibn al Qasi's behavior also was uh, contrary to Sufi thought and lifestyle. It seems he was individualist with a desire for power. However, changing political position, including taking refuge in the Al Muhad, then uh, opposing Al Muhad and asking the king of Portugal for help in fighting. Uh, his Muslim opponents eventually led to his assassination by his followers. Based on his behavior and lifestyle, it, uh, Qasi can be classified as a political Sufi, though Ibn al-Arif, uh, Ibn al-Arabi uh, introduced him as a great Sufi. Thank you for uh, attention.